hey girl welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a full look using juvia's place um i tried to use the products that i have for like as many things as possible like my highlight my blush um eyeshadow as you can see foundation so i hope you guys enjoy this video um but before anything make sure to subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel okay um yeah so stay tuned let's get into this look okay so my eyebrows are already prepped um i am gonna go back in and fix them a little bit because they're not really all the way done they're just you know like i just made them look a little neat shaded them in a little bit but the first thing i'm gonna do is um apply my foundation so the foundation that i'm using is in the shade uh cameroon and this is what it looks like um uh, my skin is already primed so i just wanted to hop right in so we could just start with the products because that's what i want to focus on Now, I do feel like this foundation is a little bit darker, but I feel like it blends really good with my skin tone. It's just a little bit darker, not anything, you know, too crazy. So after I apply it with the stick, I'm going to buff it out with my brush, and then after that, I'm going to use my... Um, beauty blender so I do like that the um, foundation stick it gives you like a dewy kind of finish um they Juvia's Place does have a um, foundation that is mattifying and I do have that foundation however it was way 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 too light like i don't know how it looked like it was gonna be um the same shade as me but when i put it on oh it looks crazy like i could use it as a concealer i think that is what i'm gonna use it for not today but i'm gonna use it as a concealer maybe it'll work i don't know i feel like with makeup you can make your own rules like you don't really have to use everything for what they say it is for i have all of these flyaways so yeah, I'll probably use it for that because I'm not gonna be able to return it. So, um, because I ordered it online. I don't know how their return policy goes online, but I ordered it online and I ordered it uh, at the end of, no, yeah, at the end of December, not even January, at the end of December. So I'm just gonna keep it and use it for something else. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with these two shades of concealers. Um, one of them, the darker one is the number 12 and the lighter one is 16. So let me see what's up there. My hair is all in the way. Yeah, it's much better. Much, much better. So I'm just applying this under my eyes. under my nose. I'm gonna go down the middle of my nose slowly because you wanna make sure that it's even. It's a little crooked, just a little bit. And then in the top of my forehead. I swear every single time I'm filming it's like a certain time of the day. I'm gonna have to start filming earlier. I can hear my neighbor and her kids in the hallway. It's like, oh my God. Every single time it happens. She's like screaming to the top of her head. So uh, now I'm gonna just add this to just make it brighter. Okay, 
so now I'm gonna just take my beauty blender and blend this out. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the lighter shade. I just really want, I like really bright under eyes. Like, not too bright to the point where you have flashback, but. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face looks extremely like dewy. It's very like shiny, oily kind of. Um, I am gonna go in and set it with a setting powder. The only thing that I'm worried about is like the creasing throughout the day in the corners of my nose because I do tend to get creasing there depending on the foundation that I use. So the palette that I'm using is the Queen palette. Um, for me, it's a. two shimmers and four mattes and this is what it looks like so i'm going to go into the shade sister to sister which is this one and i'm going to apply that in the crease So the next shade that I'm going to use is, I think you pronounce it Ole. I don't know if it's Ole, Ole or Ole. I'm not really sure. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. But I'm going to tap that one and go in on top of that. two colors come on together. I think I'm gonna use every color except for the yeah except for the purple. I'm not gonna use the purple. Okay. So now I'm gonna go into my outer corner. I'm gonna lightly tap it. This shade um Seven, the hot pink. I'm gonna just tap that into my inner corners. Oh, that one's a little powdery. I hope it's not a lot of fluff. And I actually. 
so they shouldn't even be using this brush because I don't want to use the same brush for everything. Especially if you're gonna have to do the other eye. So uh, I hope you guys can see the shape that I'm going in. I'm starting from here and then I'm tapping. I'm just going like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> like a little bit of fallout like I feel it kind of like crumbling on my face like falling down on my face um maybe I should use this piece of my finger I should apply it um, let me just see I'm gonna pick up my mirror so I can see exactly how it's looking oh it looks fine it looks other shimmer shade which is FDB approved and I'm gonna put that into my inner corner Ooh, I'm gonna use my finger for this one Like me blending out these two eyes, these two shimmer shades, I feel like it looks better when being that I use my finger on this side, even though it's not fully blended out. But I did, I just feel like it, the colors went together better when I use my finger instead of using a brush.
to me. I already did this lower lash line. I just wanna show you guys exactly what I did. So I went, I took this brush, and I just went straight forward. I tapped it on both of them. And I patted, and then... So while I was off camera, I went ahead and I popped on some lashes and did my wing liner. Um, these lashes are gonna be um, in my lash line. I'm just trying them out because I needed to see a few different styles. So, um, now I'm just going to go ahead and put on some lip liner and also a lip gloss. My lips have been so crusty, oh my god. I did a scrub today and it's still, my lips are still crusty. Like they're peeling so much. So I guess I'll be doing another scrub. And I'm gonna take this off. I'm just overlining a little bit at the top. Like right up here. Not so much. And then I'm using, I think this is in the shade Clout. This is a Tory B lip gloss. Oh, the other thing I wanted to try was, I don't know, I might be reaching with this one, but I wanted to try to use, let me see something, because I feel like that FDV approved shade, which is this one, I feel like that's going to be too light on my, on my cheek. You know what, I want to try something different. I'm going to use Sister to Sister, which is this one, I'm going to use that as a blush. Then I want to use the um. Oops, I already went and did it. I wanted to use this FDV shade. Oh, it actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like it's too light. Skin tone, but it actually looks really nice. Let me just turn that over and buff that up because I don't like that sharp line. I don't want to walk around like that. And I'm going to do it a little bit down the center of my nose. So I know my lighting probably looks like extremely different, but I'm still trying to figure out these, these lights. But this is the finishing look. I think it looks Super cute and glam. And I'm with the hoodie curls. These are lazy curls because I did not feel like curling my hair today. But yeah, I, I really like it a lot. I'm loving these lashes. Like I don't like to wear dramatic lashes. I'm very simple, but the lashes look good. I feel like a pink lemonade. Like that's what I that's what I feel like right now. Pink lemonade. But um yeah so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried not to make it so long because I kind of wanted to just get right to the point. So I hope you did enjoy that. I probably wasn't that talkative this video, but because I, I was concentrating. But um, yeah, let me know if you like the video. And if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below. See you guys later.